Good morning. I'm Jean Tuenjou. I'm a neuroscientist working in Paris at INSERM and Sorbonne University, and I'm currently the president of uh, FENCE, the Federation of European Neuroscience Societies. Well, you know in general that uh, brain, uh, and especially the human brain, is for its size the most complex object that we know. It is the uh, organ necessary for uh, our consciousness, our thoughts, our uh, dreams, our uh, imagination, our memory, our will, everything. And it's, uh, so because of this complexity, uh, uh, there is still a lot to be done to understand how it is organized and uh, how it works. Uh, yet, fantastic progress has been accomplished over the last uh, decades, and we know that uh, understanding the brain is within reach, and it's actually one of the major challenges for the 21st century. And uh, progress uh, in basic uh, neuroscience has been uh, having important consequences, and I will take a few examples. For example, close to my field, um, uh, in the area of uh, neurotransmission and intracellular mechanisms. Have, uh, the understanding of this mechanism have led to uh, new therapeutic approaches which are currently uh, being tested in uh, uh, rare disease, for example, and which uh, in the future may have applications for more common disease such as neurodegenerative disease. Another example um, is in developmental neuroscience where uh, understanding of basic mechanisms of uh, differentiation as well as progress in uh, induced pluripotent stem cells have led to new um, uh, strategies for building uh, disease models, for example, but also uh, new possibilities for uh, uh, regenerative medicine. Well, there are many different approaches to brain innovation and uh, uh, which are coming with, from different expertise and uh, very often they are, the progress is made uh, at unexpected places at the in interface between various disciplines. Uh, for example, neuroscience and biotechnologies or neuroscience and uh, artificial intelligence. And I would like to emphasize that in Europe, all these areas in neuroscience, but also in other sciences are very, uh, very strong. So there is a, a very uh, rich asset uh, in which to, uh, progress can be made if uh, sufficient um, uh, support is given to uh, innovation. And that is key for the future because the development uh, of these fields uh, will lead to uh, important uh, uh, applications and with a huge economic impact. So Europe has the possibility to be one of the leaders in this area. Well, FENCE is the um, uh, Federation of European Neuroscience Societies is one of the founding members of the European Brain Council, and it's part of the research ecosystem in Europe and worldwide. And uh, these um, uh, innovation days will be the opportunity for uh, conversation and interactions between uh, scientists and between scientists and other members of the society, uh, which do not take place usually. Um, and we uh, at FENS firmly believe in the importance of uh, talking with one voice and also a strong interaction and collaboration and that we want really to bring science one step further in the future and innovation uh, together. So uh, we think that this will be very important. And also um, another aspect which, is, uh, which must be um, uh, taken into account is the, the fact that, uh, of course, a, a lot of progress is possible through progress in technology, in precision medicine, uh, uh, in uh, personalized brain care. But there is also a risk of misuse, and there is a, a necessity for an ethical and societal uh, reflection on these issues, and that will be also part of the Brain Innovation Days. So uh, fans uh, firmly believe that these Brain Innovation Days will be really important and in interesting and exciting, and we are looking forward to them. Mm -hmm.